coming together with David already from the beginning. And it was this huge resistance. A lot of things washed up for me. A lot. <laughs> and then having this, it seems to be a human being in my eyes, you know, and just being shown constantly who you are in truth. And it's so scary because you taught yourself of everything else than that. And that's, of course, what we've built the entire world with, like all of the images to run from that. So it started out with um, us meeting in 2005 in Sweden. He came there to hold his first gathering. And I met this man, as I saw it then, <laughs> and now good to, uh, I haven't still gotten away from it totally yet. Um, that I was just so in love, like for three months after that. I was just in such a bliss, I was in such a joy. I, I fell in love with everyone and everything. And, um, yeah, <laughs> it's like you can't describe it. <laughs> and uh, it just made me, um, I, I really wanted to just suck in the message because it was so powerful meeting someone that actually walked the talk of the Course. And I really wanted to dig down deep into this because it was such, a, it was such an, um, an attraction to this in, my, in myself to know the truth of who I am. So I started listening to David's gatherings. I downloaded everything that I could find online. And Leslie's told me that it's like 400 hours, and I listened more than twice, so over 800 hours. I was like listening every, every moment I got, or I took every moment. Right? And I was just going through it and just took jobs. So like I took a job where I could actually listen to the gatherings while I was working. <laughs> uh, and I, I slept there too during the nights, and sometimes I was like listening during the nights too. And one night I woke up there, and it came to me really strong, go to the peace house. So I just felt like this is so much my calling, and I'm going to do this. And at that time I had a lot of things in the form that, that it looked like they were kind of a hinder, hindrance to do that, to go to the peace house. So I just felt that, okay, all of these things need to go. They need to go for me to be able to follow this and really be able to walk the talk finally, um, to live that experience myself. So uh, it was first the job. I called my employee and I said, hey, I want to quit. And she said, fine, when do you want to get off? And I said, real, as soon as possible, okay. Let's say Monday, then. <laughs> and it was so beautiful because it was just like, thank you so much for your job, and if you want to come back, you're so welcome. And and, uh, and I it just went so fast. And the same thing, I came home, and I was together with a man then. I had a boyfriend, and I told him that I feel we can't share the same purpose, and that is like my deepest. That's my desire about everything else. So, and we talked about this several times before too, but it really came to the point where I felt like this can't continue. So I told him, and it went really fast too. He packed his bags, and then he was off. <laughs> and then I had two dogs, and they needed a new home. And actually, David and I we went on a tour in 2007, and came to a point where I had to place them in a new home and that took like just one week. Um, it was like this thing that came really fast too. So they got a new home, the dogs, and they were like my babies. So that was like a big thing for me, but it was coming in like step by step. And that's how the Holy Spirit is working with us. That it's not coming like boom and you've got to like sacrifice <laughs> like everything. But it, was, it, look, it looked in the form like all of these things were going pretty fast. And uh, it was, uh, the Holy Spirit was working very fast with me in that. And that was like the guidance of the form. Like I can say those words because I really felt like, like it was coming in like that. Even though, of course, true love 
it's like it has nothing to do with the form, but it was just something that was really strong for me, like all of these symbols, how it was coming in, for me to be able to know who I am in truth. And that's like everything is being used in the relationship, of course, to undo the, the belief in everything. And in personhood that, like, I was this little girl, <laughs> you know, like this little doll, whatever, it's like these kind of things that it's just, you know, that you have to work very practically on all of these things. It doesn't matter whether you could apply it to food or comforts or even sexuality, uh, where the gap between the pain and the pleasure just flips back and forth. You know, ooh la la, ooh, the, the, either the physical or the emotional pain comes in. And sometimes there's a, there's a big gap and then the more sensitized you become, we were talking about, the deeper you go, it gets, the gap gets closer and closer where you do start to realize what Jesus is talking about. Now it's impossible to seek for pleasure without finding pain. And that's why these kind of appetites just start to dry up. You know, it doesn't matter whether there's appetites for certain kinds of climates or for sex or for food or for preferences in terms of different kinds of climates or foods or sex or all this, you know, basically as your purpose rises up into awareness, that other stuff becomes more peripheral.